Welcome back to another episode of the Switch Survival Guide. Today we are going to discuss bolas and how to use those, which is going to be a much easier topic than the last episode, I promise. That was just a very difficult thing to explain, whistling commands, ordering groups, and all that stuff. So today will be nice, short, and simple. So the bola is an amazing tool you can use to completely incapacitate a dinosaur, especially velociraptors, because it's the only really good way to protect yourself against a raptor. It's also helpful for things like this parasaur, which uh, if you try to hunt a parasaur, it'll just run away too fast to catch. But if you use a bola, it will be immediately immobilized for about 10 seconds or so, maybe 15, and uh, you'll have plenty of time to either kill or knock it out. So these guys have just been wandering around our camp, which is really helpful because I want a parasaur very soon. So we'll probably tame one in the next episode. First of all, though, I've got a level, and I'm going to add some melee damage so we can collect things much more quickly when we're gathering wood and thatch and all that good stuff, because we're going to build a house pretty soon, too, a much better house. But first, first order of business, and I would have normally learned this a lot sooner, is to get these bolas. And I've also got enough to unlock the parasaur saddle when we tame one, which is great. So a bola is one of the best ways to defend yourself in the early game because most dinosaurs you'll run into are small enough to get incapacitated by one. And they're pretty simple to make, you just need some thatch, some fiber, wood, stone, all that good stuff. So I'm going to collect a little bit more of this and we'll start making a few of these bolas. Now you can only use a bola once, it's used up after you throw it, and it does take some materials, so be sparing and careful with how often you use them. But uh, Let's say you're attacked by a Velociraptor. Now, if you try to defend yourself with a spear, slingshot, any of that stuff, the raptor will actually pounce on top of you, which completely immobilizes you. You can't move, you can't do anything, you're just dead. But if with Ebola, if you've got one always in your hot bar, when you hear that raptor charging, you can actually wait for it to get really close to you so you don't miss, and then hit it with Ebola when it's at close range, and that raptor is completely completely immobilized, it can't move at all, and usually it'll give you enough time to kill the raptor or knock it unconscious with a slingshot. So I'm also going to make a second slingshot and get some stones for ammo because I'm going to try to tame a parasaur very soon, and my slingshot, if you look at it carefully on the bottom left of my hotbar, is only halfway uh, towards breaking. That little tiny blue bar at the bottom shows how quickly it's going to break, and when that bar runs out, out, the slingshot breaks and you can't use it until you repair it. And you do not want that to happen in the middle of combat or when you're trying to tame something. So it's a good idea to have a backup slingshot. Um, now this parasaur right here is a higher level than the green one, even though I like the look of the green one better. So I'm going to show you how to use this on the parasaur. Now you can hold down the right trigger and it'll start swinging around but if you want to keep from throwing it, you have to pull out another weapon before you let go of that trigger, because it's going to fly as soon as you let go. Now, this parasaur is freaking out and trying to run, but we're just going to attack it. Now, if you hit something in the head, it takes a lot more damage and a lot more torpidity damage, which means it'll knock out more quickly. So I'm going to see if I can knock this thing out before it breaks free, since it is a higher level. And I should not have been hitting it in the head, apparently. So that's the danger with headshots, is you can actually kill a parasaur if you're uh, trying to tame it. So that's how you use a bola, nice and easy. And in the next episode, we are going to try to tame this mint green uh, parasaur that we saw earlier. It's a little bit lower level, but uh, I'm going to gather some more stones so that we can use those. And uh, we'll give this a shot in the next episode, and hopefully tame it up and teach you how to ride it. So tune in next time, and you'll see how this turns out. Thanks so much for watching this video from the ARK Survival Guide. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more great guides like this one. ARK is an amazing game, but there is so much to learn before you can really enjoy it. We are dedicated to bringing you high quality guides, tutorials, and let's play videos that are fun, helpful, clean, and suitable for the entire family. There is a tutorial in this series for everything we have done so far in this video. Check out these playlists for more episodes from this series and other guides to help you enjoy your journey on ARC.